I'm absolutely delighted now to be joined by the APS's Executive Officer, Kate Kirby. Kate, welcome. Thank you. Thank you I'm for delighted to be here. Thank you. A great conference, isn't it? Oh, it's fabulous. We really love being here in Denver. Uh, you know, it's attracted almost 10,000 physicists and we're very pleased to be here. I wonder what you call 10,000 physicists. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's talk about the strategic strategic plan. If you, if you just take us back a, a, a year or so, what's the thinking behind the strategic plan? Well, it's to really offer a roadmap to the future. And uh, so we came up with four goals, they're very broad, uh, to better serve the members, to better serve the physics community, to better serve society, and also to increase our organizational excellence. And um, the plan was relatively short, and the idea is that implementation will take place uh, over the next four or five years, and uh, fueled by recommendations from our members. So, how are you going about the implementation? So, we've formed some task groups. Um, a lot of the, our initial focus is driven by our demographics, and we look at our demographics, and we're not very diverse. So. Um, uh, we get a number of students in our organization, about 27% of our members are students, but then most of our students, after they get a PhD, they go on and work in the private sector. And the APS is largely an academic organization. And at that point, when they go, go off into the private sector in industrial physics, we lose them. And we really want to be engaging them better. So we appointed an early career physicist task force and uh, to really make some recommendations about how we could better engage and serve this cohort. How about minorities? How do you represent and, uh, and encourage uh, minorities? Well, that's a, another very big priority uh, for the society, making uh, us as the APS uh, and also the physics community much more diverse and inclusive. And um, so we have the APS Bridge Program. I think uh, Ted Hodap has already spoken about that earlier. Uh, but we also, I've appointed an uh, internal uh, working group on diversity, uh, that is of staff members to really complement our committees of the membership that are concerned with diversity issues, and that's our Committee on Minorities and our Committee on the Status of Women in Physics. And our internal working group is really to help uh, look at the demographics of our prizes and awards, for instance, uh, our unit leadership uh, and governance, and how we're doing in terms of really uh, exhibiting the diversity that we have uh, you know, within the society. And I think that's very important to attracting um, more, a more diverse population. So how do members get involved with all this? We have a uh, task force on um, early career physicists, as I said. Um, we also try to very much keep in touch with our committees and make sure that the committees uh, know how they can align with uh, the strategic plan and give us input. And uh, we're actually going to uh, also have a big town hall meeting uh, at 11.30 today in which um, an issue called corporate reform that Mac Beasley talked about yesterday uh, is going to be presented broadly uh, by, by Beasley and then um, uh, of course there'll be questions and answers and we're really trying to get out to the member community but communication is always a challenge. <laughs> we need to be doing better. <laughs> One of the other issues that you have is that uh, diversity as well, diversity in terms of interest. There's so many different people studying and working in so many different fields. How do you make sure that you cater to your members in that, in that way? That's a really good question. Um, I think that uh, the fact that we encourage our members to be uh, members of divisions which concentrate in particular areas of physics as well as our topical groups that allow for um, uh, recognition of some emerging areas in physics um, and uh, to be uh, members of these interest groups I think makes um, uh, our members feel very much uh, more a part of the society because uh, we're big and you want them to feel that they fit in. Okay, thank you very much indeed for taking the time to talk to us today. I know this is a, a very busy week for you, so thank you very much. You're very welcome. Delighted to do it. Thank you.